What's going on guys? It is actually a few days after I filmed this video and I am editing it right now and I'm realizing that me and Luke did not make an intro. So since I'm editing the video, I'm going to make the intro. So what's going on guys? My name is Colin, this is Luke, and this is Ripple Up Fishing. <laughs> video me and Luke got bored so we went to fish in a bayou behind my dad's work we went in the boat so that we didn't have to paddle our way around in like kayaks and that would take forever but uh so we went in the boat we went down the bayou a little bit more we caught some fish and then we got to this nursery that my dad knows somebody that works in the nursery so we can kind of like fish it anytime we want so we went down the bayou and then we got to the nursery and we kind of like tied our boat off to this tree I guess you could we tied our boat off to this tree and then we we hopped off the boat and we got into this like kind of like land like thicket I guess you could say and uh it was surrounded by briars and stuff so you can tell nobody's been back there and we went through this like gate type thing and you could see the whole nursery and uh well in the front of the nursery they have like three or four ponds that they like breed fish or whatever they have like they breed bass they breed bluegill crappie all different type of fish and then they go stock other ponds everywhere around louisiana and then in the back of the nursery they have this ginormous pond that they stock with like bass bluegill crappie all different type of fish and they basically have it for like boy scouts and stuff but we have access to it since my dad knows a guy who works there so we went in we fished it we caught a few fish they were all pretty small, but there's some big fish in there. We just wasn't weren't able to get them today. But uh, yeah, so we caught a few fish. Make sure you guys stay tuned because it's pretty awesome. We catch a bunch of fish. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next. I would say sorry, but it probably felt good, so. Yeah, it did. Did I call? No, you're good. No, you're good. It's alright. Yeah, let's do that. Sweet! Is that your first trade talk fish? Uh. No. I caught one on the trench hog whenever we were at uh, that other guy's farm. Mike or whatever? Marcus? No, oh, Mark, yeah. Yeah. Just got one, guys. Alright, guys, so we're gonna keep them in the live well. If we start catching some more, then we might keep them home, cook them up. But if if that's the only fish we get, we'll, we'll just release that one. Keep on fishing, see if we can get a few more. Bash. Or no, it's catfish. Yeah, it's they catfish. Pick it up. Somebody else has been lying, no problem. Catfish right there. Yeah, that's leaving. Yeah. Else Are you sure? Alright, pick it up just to show the camera. Alright, so. Channel, huh? Channel catfish. Yep. Channel catfish right there. We noticed them flipping around whenever we were passing them. Okay, guys, so I just caught a bass right over there. We saw something like moving on this, on this bush. Went to check and there's a big old channel catfish on there. We're not gonna keep it. It's not. It's not our jug line. That'd be just rude to steal somebody else's jug line fish. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, just got another one. He's super small. He's still a fish though. So. Are we keeping him, Dad, or are we letting him go? Yeah, put him in there. See how many he gets. Okay. All right, guys. Our other bass is doing fine. Yeah, he's still swimming. 
Alright guys, so I'm gonna update you. Okay, so first bass that I caught, I caught it on a trench hog, which I don't have anymore because it fell off. I caught that little fish on a little E eliminator. Same bait that I caught all those fish at Luke's house with. It's an awesome bait. Just kind of casting out. It's weightless, so it just kind of sinks like really slowly. And then I just kind of reel it in really slowly. And the fish just chomp it. It's awesome. Got another one, guys. That one is a little bit bigger. So this is number three for me. Same thing, using that E eliminator. He actually ripped the hook off. Alright guys, so this is number three. We're definitely keeping this guy. That's a big one. That is a big one. I mean, not really, but, not really, but compared to the other one. He's probably like a pound. And a half. Oh my god, he just bit down on my hand. Oh, nice. Alright guys, we stopped getting bites in the bayou. So now, we're going to fish for a few more hours. But we're going to be fishing in that pond that me uh, Luke was talking about in the beginning. Alright guys, we have made it to the pond. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a house over there. Just walk through this paved or walkway, whatever you want to call it. Come up these stairs. Easy, retarded dog. Come here. Easy, here. Here, easy. But yeah, that's the pond that we're going to be fishing in, guys. And then these are all the hatcheries and stuff. Here, easy. Here, come on. We gotta go back. We gotta go help out Luke and them. Those are all the hatchery ponds, dude. That's where they keep all the fish at. They like stock it, stock it big. They stock it big time because they want, uh, like, look at this water right now. It's like high tech, like really good. Sorry, here we go, buddy. They stock it a lot because the, uh, because they uh, teach Boy Scouts how to like fish and stuff. So they want Boy Scouts to catch fish. So. Oh, a hit, 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 hit. Got it. See, that was all. Telling you guys, you eliminate. Did you see that? Sweet. Another pretty good one. Alright guys, so there is a bunch of structure right there. I don't know if you guys see that. There's a bunch of pipes. Like out the ground stuff. Yeah. So what some people do is they have a bunch of, they get a cement block and they'll pour like they'll get a five gallon bucket or something pour semen in it and then put a bunch of pipes sticking out everywhere to add structure to the pond well i mean this is a really good pond by really good people that know how to manage a pond so of course they had that in there started casting over it and got this pretty good one out of it so i mean they obviously work so and the e eliminator obviously works too so all right guys so i got two on the stringer right there we got three in the live well in the boat. So that's got, we got five fish. So, yeah, not a bad day at all. Let's see if we can get a few more. There we go, Luke. Dude, that's a big one, too. There we go, Luke. Oh, no. Oh, I thought, I thought it came off the, the worm's right there, by the way. The worm is right there, by the way. Wacky rig? No, choker. Wacky rig? Yes, sir. Oh, wacky rig. Nice. Oh, no. He choked it. Alright, guys. Whoo, barely hooked. Got another one. This is a smaller one. Luke's still using the wacky rig. I'm still using the E-Eliminator. Alright, guys. Luke's all the way over there. He's running. He's got another one. So that makes eight. Spin move. Baby. Hey, throw that one back. That's just... No, no, keep it, keep it, keep it. It's good. 
Hey, but we gotta get going in a few minutes, my dad said. You sure? Yeah, because we can just keep fishing. All right, guys. So me and Luke are both at the same spot now. He's right there. Luke just caught a fish. I just got back from catching a fish. So we know the fish are biting. But the problem is we only have a few more minutes left before we have to go home because it's starting to get dark. And I'm kind of hungry. And my dad is kind of hungry too. So... And it's just getting dark, and nobody wants to head home in really dark water. So, I'm going to start heading back in a little bit. still have a few more minutes, though, so I'm going to try to make the best of them and get a bunch of fish. Get a big one. You sure? Go, Luke. Nice one, dude. Nice one, dude. Sweet. Yeah, that is pretty decent. He is very fast. Oh, I just ripped my off. What? Don't. That doesn't keep it fresh. It's gonna spoil. It's just gonna be a few minutes. Dude. You're really cool, dude. Okay. He deserved to live. If he was smart enough to get out of that crack, he deserved to live. He deserved to live. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, 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 oh. I love how Colin's expressions mimic the bite. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 I mean, I literally put him to the closest possible spot in the water. I could have at least put him right there. Here we go, Luke. Got him. Nice. Dude, he hammered it. I thought he was huge. Let me show him a comment. Ah. Uh -huh. Bass, just kidding, it's me, Luke. <laughs> Is that too small? Yeah. Guys, we keep fish. Did you know what we need in nuggets? Uh, oh, nope, no, I don't. That's a big one. His mouth is stuck open. Came off. Dang it. This is a pretty good fish. Dude, look at that mouth. He swallowed the hook though. That's not a bad fish. That's a good one, Colin. I know. I think that's the one that rolled on you earlier. Yeah, true. I think this is the biggest one of the day. Pretty good one, guys. Maybe a you know, pound and a half, maybe? We need to come back. This is this was fun. That is a lot to fish. Easy. Sure.